Hey, hey, Matthew from Hungry Seven Last Food Vlog, guys. What's up, man? I have been asked to come to a phenomenally legit location known as Roko Mama's in Pune. And I tell you why I like this place and the sound of my excitement. I am a big burger fan. You guys know that burger is a culture in Pune that is growing and is continuing to grow. But I have always wait to see a location that core focuses on the bloody burger that they serve but these guys also do ribs and chicken wings a south african brand franchise owned by this really cool guys for india and sri lanka they have started the journey with pune only more joints to open up in pune for the next couple of months and this brand has over 60 restaurants around the globe including in australia saudi arabia so on and so forth also a burger joint, finally, that not only focuses on burgers, but also serves alcohol. But these guys are not one of them cheap kinds that serve only IMF. Uh-uh. Four, bur four beers, they have the tab. Heikkonen, Edelweiss, they have Grey Goose, they have Black Label, they have Glendafish, they have the Kingfisher, and they also have an open kitchen. So you see what they prepare for you. Really funky place. Another thing that I really like about this place is the color combination. We all know that in uh, the consumer's mind, right, black, orange, yellow, red are really attractive. There's a recall value. These guys have yours mostly orange and black. And I'm very stoked with this place. I'm sure the camera is going to show you how the food is prepared. Their uh, signature item that I will let the owners discuss about also they have a funky bike that is modified and is put on the location i'm sure the camera is going to give you a shot of that right okay can't wait matthew is going to sit down and for the first time after a long time eat guys on the table with me today Amongst the beautiful spread, colorful. I mean, every time you have a burger that has a black bun, for whatever reason, sound looks, sounds, sounds, looks, feels tasty. Hmm? I'm sitting on the table with the co-founders, but they don't like to be called co-founders. They have a fancy word for it. I'm sitting there with Sarvesh, who is the business head, and Shashir, who is the brand chef. That's what they call themselves. Man, if I had Roko Mamas, I would, I, would, I would sing that tune every single day after. Guys. I'll tell you why I like this place. A, it has space. B, it's very westernized. When you walk into Roko Mamas, if you close your eyes, you honestly think you're outside India. It's as simple as that. I know I often say this from about a location, but when there are young people who own the brand and run the brand, you always get good stuff, right? So before I take one more step with the word, I want to raise my glass to Roko Mamas. To Roko Mamas. To Roko Mamas. May you guys have another 800 locations, and if you do, Please give me 5% steak. <laughs> you 5% steaks. <laughs> <laughs> war. This, this, this fucker didn't know, but it is war, war, bro, damn. No right. war with you. <laughs> Back on the serious note, guys. Roku Mamas does burgers, chicken wings, and ribs. That's what they do. Right. That's their speciality. That's the what the core focus is. Plus, they also serve alcohol. Now, it's not IMFL, like I said in my opening intro. You have your foreign liquor, you have your Grey Goose, Black Label, Hanukkah beer, Coronas, etc., etc., right? So you can come here, chill with a burger over a beer. And guys, it looks good. It looks very good. Now, I'm dying to start, of course. Matthew's a pick. What does a vlogger do, guys? A vlogger eats and sometimes drinks. All right, so who do we start with? Who, do you, who, who, do you go, who wants to go first? Him or you? Yo, yo. No, no, you was just talking about the brand, bro. Uh, I'll talk about the brand, you'll talk about the food. Done. So let's yeah. talk about the brand. Tell us, uh, guys, because I am fiercely intelligent, Rokomama is a South Afri African brand. Yes. Franchise is owned by these guys for India and Sri Lanka. Yes. The first location opened up is in Pune. Right. Within the next three months, you'll have two more locations in Pune. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it's going to grow bigger, bigger and bigger. Rokomamas has over 60 branches across the world, i.e. Australia, Saudi Arabia, South Oman, Africa. South, of course, they're from South Africa, South Africa, etc., etc. That's the brand. Now, that has come to India. So, why did you start with Pune? Let's begin with that and then you can take it forward. Uh, Pune, 
uh, has a very vibrant culture. It's got a it's got a mix of cosmopolitan crowd from across the country. A uh, lot of youngsters here. Uh, a lot of people who come to study here, then because they love the place so much as much as I do, and uh, but they st they stick around and they stick around. They s they like the place. They kind of get married here. They start working here. They have kids here, and then the kids also start getting educated. So it's a very big pull for people for from all across the country to be here, and uh, because the youths are attracted to the place, this food is all about youth. I mean, look at look at what we're doing. Beautiful spread. This is something which uh, everyone can relate to, anyone can relate to and anyone who's uh, from a cosmopolitan background, uh, who has traveled a little bit, who understands the difference between food and real food, uh, will love us. So that's why Pune, also the fact that we own the place. So <laughs> Oh, you own the real estate. <laughs> so, ah, so that, is that is why they're being so anal about the equity. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> they own the place. So which but, is where we have. But uh, moving forward, we love Pune as a city, and uh, this place is mm -hmm. good for us. And which is why, in the next coming months, I think by May, mid May, we should have the second one operation. By the grace of the Almighty, tell us a little bit about the brand. I'm sure people want to know. So the brand started in South Africa in 2014, 2013, 14, uh, by two young entrepreneurs and. Uh, they then uh, built it, they scaled it up. They, they, they were well received in South Africa. Of course, this forms a staple diet of South Africans, but the way they do it is really the way they present it. And of course, the taste at the end of the day, it's, it's absolutely divine. Uh, the thing that differentiates uh, Rocco Mamas from the other brands for burgers or anything is the fact that uh, they, we do nothing which is frozen. So everything on the table is made fresh every day. Including the sauces, the meats, the vegetables, the you just name it. We make everything in house, and I swear by it. So, <laughs> so except for the chip seasoning, except which for comes the chip. from South Africa, and also the burger seasoning because they have a secret recipe for it. So, the chip seasoning and the burger seasoning is something which is sourced from South Africa. But apart from that, everything is made fresh. All the sauces, the also, onions. also the fact that everything is a Pune Brahman. Nothing is sourced from outside. Nothing. Everything on the table is from Pune, and the team is from Pune. Uh, the suppliers, the sourcing, everything is done locally. That's the beauty of the brand. I want. I want to add one more thing here, right? Service was telling me, Matthew, and he, they are the owners of the location. Obviously, they're not going to be unethical and tell us about how up other people use their meat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I can. I have a big mouth. Everything you see on the table is one hundred percent. What does that mean? The chicken patty, one hundred percent breast. The mutton patty, 100% mutton. What does that mean? There is no mixture, guys. If you think you go to other burger joints and you're having 100% mutton patty or 100% chicken patty, you're mistaken because there's always an element of soy or soya mixed in it always. And the ratio is dangerous. It could be 80, 20, 80% meat, 20% soya, but sometimes vice versa. But this place gives you 100%. Now, a lot of you might run your fucking mouth and say, but the guys are the owner, they're going to do this. Come and eat. Come and eat and decide for yourself, right? Also, these guys are not very expensive. They are quite reasonable for... Look, what does Matthew always say? Matthew always says, ambience, experience plays a vital role in your food experience, right? I also know that there are locations in Pune that are nothing as far as looks are concerned, but the food is damn good and they've been around for 25, 30 years. I understand that. But in today's fierce competition, especially in the hospitality sector, ambience, presentation, look and feel, all act, it will play a vital element in a consumer's experience, right? And guys, they have them all blue tick marked, all of them, because look, the place is big, it's not small. And they're cool guys that run the location too. So, we're going to divert, di divert our attention from service, despite the fact that we don't want to, because it's also very good to look at. We'll go to, yeah, I tell him war. He doesn't know. It's just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> bro, do you want to tell us about what makes your food a bit different? Why should they come and eat your burgers? And why? Just a lot of whys. Why? So, uh, basically, we give them an international experience. Uh, things that you'll find uh, abroad. We get the food over here. And uh, all the ingredients are locally sourced, as Sarvesh said before. And... Uh, uh, it's, it's all fresh, so the guest comes in and then he orders his burger, it's made freshly in front of him 
we also give the guest the option of coming and making his own burger inside the kitchen so these are things that you mind know. you he's only used the word he that means a racist if you're a woman don't come to this <laughs> no, location no, no, they're probably it's sexist sexist yeah <laughs> sexist, sexist. <laughs> so, yeah so uh there are a lot of even uh, like in, in dings and dips also we have some indian flavors uh, that we have uh, brought into the menu uh, like we are doing the southern wings southern wings is something that is bit indian uh, so the people have an option of eating uh, uh, classic barbecue wings at the same time they can try the southern wings which is indian similarly the pork ribs we have jd pork ribs we have barbecue pork ribs so there is a lot of option yeah and uh, yeah it's, it's i like the way that he is kept quiet about what goes into the burgers as far as the Indians are concerned because he wants to give it a secret, but he doesn't know that Matthew is going to fuck him ass for sure, right? Now, when I was speaking to Savage, he told me that, for example, some of your some of your mayonnaise are custom made, yeah, uh, so most copyrighted of, to you guys. Yep. Your spices are copyrighted to you guys. Yes. And what is very interesting now, hey, this is the first time I have heard somebody who has a burger joint say, "Hey, man, we have not messed around or twitched too much with the spices. We try to keep it simple, but they have uh, customized spices for the burgers." Yes. Tell us about that. So uh, basically, it is something that is like uh, the burger that you will find over here in Pune, and the burger that maybe you will have in a Saudi Yokomamas will be like you know hundred percent the same. So that is the reason we have certain standards, certain SOPs, uh, the menus which we follow to the core. Yeah, and uh, uh, the spices are something which is very secret. So of course, I can't tell you what goes into it. Of course, exactly. And uh, yeah, all the Where sauces are made fresh. <laughs> nothing comes canned, nothing comes uh, in bottles, nothing. So we make all our sauces from scratch, from zero. Right. And also, guys, it's not just alcohol, right? They have a lot of mocktails and, and non-alcoholic beverages. Really good. He, what was the one that you uh, asked me to have earlier? Uh, the Innocent Passion. There's nothing innocent about it. It was red. And whenever uh, there's a drink that red, now Matthew's mind goes... <laughs> Some red, I said, you know what? Fuck it, take this and get me the beer before I become very naughty on camera. <laughs> right? No one very serious, no this place. Also, it's ideal to get your kids. If you're a family, you're single, you're a couple, doesn't really matter. It's a location for everyone. The food is such that everybody enjoys, right? I'm yet to come across a child, a kid, who says, I don't like burgers. I'm also come across a 60, 70 year old uh, senior guy saying that, hey man, I don't appreciate burgers, right? That's that. Okay. Moment of truth. Now, guys, Matthew is biased to two locations in Pune, right? Between your buns and where else can Friends of mine, of course. They are not an international brand. They're a Pune brand. I am dying, dying to try this food, right? So I know for a fact that they have a signature one here. That's the smash burger, right? Yeah, that's a smash burger. So basically, smashing is something which is very unique and which is something that our brand is very, uh, I won't say positive, but uh, that is something what is our brand standard. Basically, can I can I eat now? Yeah, yeah, please, please. <laughs> you should. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> can I get a bite? So this is a no, <laughs> fuck no, hell. This is what my wings, fuck this. So basically, this is a mutton chili cheese bomb burger that you're having. A mutton, oh. Yeah, it's a uh, mutton patty. It's two different types of I things. wanted to use the sanitizer, but I just said, fuck it. <laughs> uh, guys, this place does not uh, give you beef or buff. It's only mutton. So you guys are safe. Hmm? Shall we? Oh, fuck me. Come to mama. <laughs> Guys, I'll, I'll give you a quick sneak peek. So there's bacon here. You gotta, you gotta smash it. Okay, this is a bacon in here yeah, and? It's got bacon, there's got a cheese bomb, they have fresh chilies, there's chili mayo, there's two different types of cheese, there's mozzarella, cheddar. It's a loaded yes, burger. that's the way to go, Matthew. <laughs> so don't break it. Come smash here, you it. son of a gun. Come to daddy. Oh, yeah. You're gonna cry? You're about to cry, Matthew. You need tissue? Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Sorry, Adish. But I just think I just bit the best burger in Pune so far. Oh, fuck. Well done, chef. Thank you, chef. Well done, bro. Well done, fuck. Let me finish with all this jumbo mumbo sampling so I can get back in my burger. Fuck that. Can I try the wings? Yeah, please. Cheers to you guys. This Cheers. was a fucking amazing burger. You know what? Let's do a bottoms up. <laughs> bottoms up? Okay, bottoms up it is.
Is it a working rate thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> what is this wings I'm having? So these are southern wings. It's a South Indian flavored wings. It's got curry leaves. It's got turmeric powder, madras curry powder. You know, a lot of. I just stuff. I just bit into Chennai. Yeah. So basically, South India. This is something that we wanted to get on the menu so that people can you know have more options when it comes to food. What if you get a you you? Uh, it's South Indian flavor. What if you get a puna kiss for my side? <laughs> Sarvesh would love it. <laughs> a what? Puna kiss. <laughs> Sarvesh is not my type. He can try his level best. He's just not my type. <laughs> He's too tall for me. <laughs> so you like his size, right? <laughs> Never mess around with a chef, yeah. ever. Yeah. Okay. Last person to mess around uh, with. Okay. What am I having next? You can also try the sweet fire wings. That is something which is sweet and spicy at the same time. It's got barbecue flavor. Is, so is this a sweet? What is what are these sauces? So we're serving blue cheese dip. Blue. Blue cheese is this blue cheese? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we're using Danish Fuck blue Corona. cheese. Fuck <laughs> Corona. This is 100% blue cheese. Oh. Oh. What is this one? So that's a chili mayo. That's another dip that we serve. It's a bit spicy, but uh... guys, notice for the first time in the history of this vlog, I didn't have to honest to eat. Could you please eat too? <laughs> Sorry about that. Even. No, have a bite if, with us. Have a break bread. Don't touch my burger. I'm warning you. <laughs> Bro, did you know one thing? That it's a it's a proven fact, guys. That this part of the chicken. Give me a second for a second. This part of the chicken is very bad for the chef. <laughs> so is the burger for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dig into the ribs, yo. What is it? this? Is barbecue ribs, right? That's barbecue pork. pork. <laughs> Matthew is so happy. Do you know this is the first time in the history of the vlogs I'm eating pork? Do you guys know this? And I can, I can uh, probably bet you that this is probably the best pork ribs you've had in Delhi. Best. <laughs> I love pork. Um, I know I'm talking about my own. If you and me, were, if you and me were getting along, I would have said it's the best pork ribs. We are not getting along. <laughs> Why aren't we getting along? Oh, we don't, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. No, 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 bro, no. Some blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it was an absolute pleasure to sit with Sarvesh and Chef Shishu. See me. Pleasure and you. and uh, thank you for your hospitality. It was great. I can't wait for our uh, guests to join us. For now, uh, on behalf of the entire team, I wish you all the very best. Thank, thank, you, thank you for the beers. Thank you, thank you for the beer. You guys are stars. Thank you, guys, thank you. I will see you with Deepak and Walter. Many, many, many thanks to Sarvesh and, she, uh, and, she, uh, and Chef Shashir for their wonderful hospitality. We wish them all the very best. And the fact that I am 1000 person with the sheer uh, sense of character and approach that they have towards what they're doing, they're going to be phenomenally successful and I hope in the next five or six years, they didn't have 60, they have 600 connections. Now, on the table to my right is Deepak D'Souza, handsome boy. He is more than a brother to me. So everybody who knows Matthew in India, Matthew also is equal to Deepak. One of the closest guys I know, I was the best man in his wedding. One of my tightest friends, he lives in Bombay, he gave me a call, surprised me today. I said, why don't you be a join and uh, be a guest with me on the vlog. So thank you for coming, bro. I'm obliged. I love you, bro. Okay. Love you, bro. Two <laughs> Thanks, bro. And to my left is the pretty boy, Walter Simon, right? Now, you guys might see that, hey, when the owner's co-founders were sitting on the table, there were one, two, three, four, five dishes only. Suddenly, there's a sixth one. It's because this guy is vegetarian. Why? Because there's Lenta. Now, mind you, there are three Christians on the table, but these two Christians are the fake ones. Probably the uh, true ones. <laughs> Probably the true ones. Right? And just for the record, because I am the nicest guy on the planet and I had one beer for the show, I'm having my diet coke. What is mixed in it, I'm not telling you. <laughs> but to you guys, for you guys, it is a diet. No. Cheers, man. Cheers, my brother. 
Thanks for coming, man. Cheers, Cheers Christian boy. Okay. I'm going to allow the next 30 seconds, not more. Okay? So then enjoy your PVC. Tell us what is it that you do? What is it that you do? I make PVC sheets. And this and PVC sheet are used for condoms or they are for... I mean, oh, they are for oh my god, what? <laughs> yeah. They are for blister packing. Blister packing. For whatever reason, it sounds dirty. What is blister packing? You don't know what's blister packing? No. <laughs> whatever you buy in the market, like a toothbrush, the top part, <laughs> that is blister packing, man. You made it worse. The toothbrush, the top part. <laughs> Anybody who knows nothing, I would have taken this and I ran with a film. Okay, I'm going to be a decent about this. So, yeah. So, Deepak has a couple of factories, right? In Bombay and also in Olavla. You had the best of memories with him. Uh, for the past 25 odd years, I know this guy, and they've had the best, the best, and the best. Time. Hey, I'm going to try to put I want to, I want to remember this. Okay. This place really reminds me of Thailand. Yeah. Right, that's a really especially good thing about it. Especially the ribs. All right. How can we miss the true Christian pretty boy? Please tell us <laughs> a little about yourself. A little about me, I guess. I'm already introduced on Hungry Sun Loves Food. Yes, I'm at Rocco Mama today, this afternoon. And if you really want to have some really chunky, juicy burgers and ribs, as Matthew just mentioned, would like to reiterate, this is the place that you really need. Whatever to they have paid you for saying this, I'm paying 25%, right? <laughs> tell us about yourself. About myself, all right, I am a corporate trainer by profession, a linguistic trainer and LMS specialist as well. Matthew knows that very well, all right, and uh, that's pretty much it to that. And yes, I work with Hungry Sam Loves Food, so that's me. We're yeah, very grateful because Roko Mamas, in all honesty, was introduced to us by Walter. Thank you, Walter. Much appreciated, my brother. All right, guys, put that. Walter, this side is not for you because it's non-vegetarian. You have your veg burger, yes. right? I know you want the ribs, right? You be, yeah. He's sending me non stop. So I'm going to serve you the ribs. Don't worry, my hands are sanitized. Go for it, yeah. And I'm also going to take the ribs. And after the ribs, you're going to have a this burger. I, think, okay. honest. I think I should have the burger first. Bro, I'm so pleased that you said that. I'm, oh, don't touch my shit. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to cut it to half, bro. Half you have me. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to give you this entire burger, bro. It's damnless. <laughs> Oh, my. okay. I'll let you have the bigger piece with the bigger bacon, okay? Thank you. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a very sweet guy. I'm a sweetheart. Okay, man. It's known as a smash burger, by the way. This is a specialty. Done good, eh? Yeah. Very good, no? Excellent, man. Oh, man. Wow. All right. What a bit is. Our veg Christian. Bon appetit. Multinational. <laughs> oh man. Good, eh? Yeah. Three grown us up, grown and grown up, grown up, grown up as men on the table not talking. That means the food is good. That means the burger is damn good. Fuck it's amazing. Right? Doesn't it remind me of Thailand, man? When I go to Thailand, I go to Thailand a lot I eat a lot of food. We used to. Stupid lockdown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They should open Thailand too, man. I, I keep on saying Thailand because Thailand is a, is a country. Look, man, we love the food, we love the culture, we love street food, right? But the food, they have so many multinationals there, right? And if you want to see what the world is all about, and you can't get it anywhere else, go to Thailand. It is in great possibility that place has a location too. I love to find out from the owner that Rokomamas has a location in Thailand. Yeah, they should have. They should have. Let's have a taste of this burger too. So what? Yeah? Why not, right? And then I think we should dig into the to the ribs last because yeah. the ribs will be different level, right? Now. Because I want to dig into the ribs, I'm gonna make this into half so we can share this, okay? Right? Thank you, man. And it's it's all messy, bro, but it's, it's a messy burger. I hope there's some meat out there. There's only meat, bro. Okay, you take this. No. Yeah. Thanks, to me. I hope there's something like that. Some things just don't change, do they? Oh man. Black bun. Make the chicken burger look so sexy, eh? Oh. Oh. Guys, have you noticed Walter Simon has kept his mouth shut? 
Is the burger good, bro? Fuck up. Amazing. You guys don't know. To my right, service is standing. You can smack into the eyes of uh, what you're saying. Fucker. Okay. If you say anything bad about my burger, right, you're not leaving this place and I own the real estate. That means I can bury you and nothing's gonna happen. Okay? Mission three. There <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Guys, I'm going for the ribs. Hey, Me? no. You wanna you wanna try this the chicken wings too? Sure. You know I've actually uh had that what are these sauces? Blue cheese, dude, this blue cheese the business. I had that with uh, shishu and service, right? It's down. It's it's South India. Nice. You're biting, you're biting into a Hollywood actress. <laughs> Good. Is it tasty? Is it juicy? Tell us about the juices. It's not so juicy, but with the sauce, it's Bollywood guys. These Bollywood guys hate Hollywood men. <laughs> That's good, brother. I'm going for the ribs. Beautiful. <laughs> Guys. Maybe for the first time, putting something so thick and so long in my mouth actually tastes good. Why the fuck is everybody laughing at me, man? Look at yours is pretty thick and long too. <laughs> oh, you're missing the long and the thick one, bro. Go ahead. Mm. That's good, no? Too good, too good. Fuck, man. Let's go to Thailand, man. Let's go to Thailand, man. <laughs> hey. Have you imported hey, the rich hey, from hey, Thailand? Hey, this guy's on the real estate. I mean, they're wealthy, bro. Yeah. Let's kiss some ass. <laughs> By the way, we own the franchise in Sri Lanka also. Yeah, I told them. And uh, let's I, kiss. I'm Thailand too. Let's kiss. Thailand. We have one in Thailand. Uh, see you later. You're screwed, oh. bro. <laughs> we love you, Sarvesh. Now, now this is juicy, man. This is really juicy. Good, dude, man. You should have been on yeah. today. Oh. Okay, in case you guys have liked the video today, please do not forget to like, save, share, talk to your friends about us. And in an event there's a location you would like us to cover for you, we will do that for you, seven seconds again. In case there's a family member, friends, former lover who owns a location, then let us know. We will try and cover that for you. But until then, this is Matthew on behalf of myself, my team, Shubhan Abishkar, my guest, Walter, and Deepak. Thank you very much. We'll see you later.